I think I can hear the bass on this. Artificial intelligence has been trending like crazy online right now because of how powerful it is when you use it in the right ways. Now, being an online creator, finding royalty-free music to put on my videos and different pieces of content can be tough because it doesn't always match the vibe and it doesn't always match the dynamics that you're looking for in songs. But now with the help of AI music generators, you can create the exact type of vibe, dynamic, and style that you're going for with hardly any technical experience. The music generator we're gonna to use today is called SoundRaw. So today I'm showcasing the process of recording bass on one of these AI generated songs to be used here on this channel. All right, now the first thing we need to do is find a track using an AI music generator. So we're just gonna to go to the website soundraw.io and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the create music tab and now it has, you know, all these different options. It's got, you have genre, mood, theme, length. Now the way this is set up is a little bit more so for someone who's not necessarily, you know, has to know exactly what BPM is or different things like that. It's pretty much made so anybody who's not a musician can just get on here and make something really quick. But since I am a musician, there's a couple of things I know I want. What I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go to genre and I'm gonna look up, I know the type of vibe that I'm wanting on my channel, which is like kind of a pop-ish vibe. I like pop tracks and different things like that. But I also want something that is that kind of more beat driven than just melodically driven. So I'm gonna hit beats as well. Now what it's doing is actually creating the songs based off of your attributes that you want. Now I can go through and just see what you know beats they came up with. Oh, hold on. Okay. Ah, uh, you lost me with that snare. Now these tracks are a little bit, uh, so I'm, I'm gonna add a different vibe in there. Let's see, let's add R&B to it. See if I could get something. I feel like an R&B feel could be cool to uh, use on the channel. That's kind of something I like. It's kind of more groovy. Let's see what this one's like. Yeah, no, that's a little too EDM for me. Ooh, this is cool. I think I could work with this. Okay. Ooh, this is a cool vibe. Okay. I think this is a song we can do. Let's work with this one. So now what I'm gonna do, when this is what's really cool, is that you see this section right here where it's got energy. Low, 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 very high outro. So basically what it is is that you can add, you see you have a trash can and a plus button. All you could do is say you want to make this song longer, you want to make these low sections even longer. All you gotta do is hit the plus button and it'll add another low section. So let's say I wanted to go 30 seconds of low and then I don't want to go 30 seconds of high. All I got to do is click on this section it's, and make another 30 seconds of high to where it's a minute. And so now you have two equal sections of a, a minute long, a minute, you know, two second long clip to where it's 30 seconds low, 30 seconds high. And you could just kind of base off that off of what you're doing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to promo to where I can adjust what instruments I want and don't want in the track. All right, so now, basically what these rectangles show you is what elements are in and what are not in the track. So let's just hear what this sounds like right here. Okay, so that, that piano is like that backing. So what I'm gonna do to test this out to see what these elements are is I'm gonna start off just right here with the backing element, and then I'm just gonna add whatever the melody element is on this next pass. And then I'm gonna add that plus the bass on this next one. And then that plus the drums on the next one. Okay, the element's a little soft little element. The bass is cool. Those drums are cool, okay. 
So that's just that top element. So I'm gonna be adding bass on this. So I don't really want it to have too much of a robotic feel to where it sounds like robotic. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a human feel with my bass. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the bass track on here and I'm gonna probably leave this backing and melody element for the first part of this. And then when I get to this section here, I'm gonna bring the drums in where it's the bigger section. So I should have this sound. Okay, cool. And then when it gets to the big section, it sounds like this. So now that we have it all arranged out and the right length that we want, now all I'm gonna do is export it and put it in my recording software. I think I can hear the bass on this. So I'm using the Universal Audio LA610 as my preamp and compressor going into the Focusrite 8i6 audio interface. And the software I'm recording in is PreSonus Studio One 6. Okay, so we're gonna start with just dragging that track in that I bounced out into this session. All right, so now that we got the track in here, let me get a bass track up and going. I think this is in C sharp minor. Let's check it. So I got a little bit of a vibe. And by the way, I have never actually heard this track. This is, I'm, I didn't pre-plan any of this. This is real time. It's a little, actually a little bit vulnerable for me. So <laughs> honestly, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm just gonna like go through this and just play over it, see if I can come up with some ideas and then record a couple of ideas down and see if that feels good for the song. Okay, I think that's a little bit of a vibe. Let me see. I think I'm just gonna, I'm really kind of feeling this. This is a C sharp minor, and I think just kind of going between like the, the, the C sharp, the E and the A is what the progression is. So I'm thinking this vibe like feels kind of free, like kind of free flowy, kind of like solo-ish, solo-y, you know, type thing at the top. And I think when the beat comes in, I'll start trying to give more of a, a actual bass line. I'm just gonna play around with this and vibe again. That felt good, <laughs> that felt pretty good. So I think I got my take, I, but I had this idea when I was doing it, if I add some chords, it could add like a cool element. So I'm just gonna duplicate this again and record some chords to this. So do some like C sharp minor nine vibe and E major to like an A major nine vibe. Okay, I think this is gonna really give this some really cool texture. You know, 
what? I actually think what I'll do, this is a little secret <laughs> that you could do when you're doing bass on top of each other, is to make the textures and contrasts different so they you know, work really well together. But I'm gonna add the, this part um, as a verb, like this little, these chordy parts. I, mean, I think I may add like one or two notes in here. I'm gonna add like a delay and reverb to these, which is really, not, I don't ever really love to do that. Um, but when you're doing bass on top of each other, it's really good to do that. So let me see how that contrasts. I think I'm just gonna do, uh, let's see, like a shimmer. Let's see how that feels. That sounds a little crazy, I love it. I think something I may do real quick to it is uh, just the EQ of it. I think I may dr actually drop out the low end a little bit to kind of help it stand out to the other. It's not too muddy. Let's see what this sounds like with the, with the bass. I think that's a vibe. Uh, I think I may add two notes. I may just add two notes here and just get for this first section to have something. Let me add this, that same verb here. I'll do to keep it out of the way uh, this little beginning part of the other is I'm just going to put a auto pan on it I feel like we're getting real deep into some production today but I'm just gonna put a auto pan on it and I'm just gonna let it go back and forth so it's it kind of feels a little different I'm probably gonna bring this mix up a little bit of this All right, so now let's listen to the finished track. save and export baby let's go so that actually felt pretty good i mean i've only spent a few like maybe 20 minutes on this and got a pretty okay product and and this was so fun because i didn't have to do all the building of the track and all i had to do is just add some bass and a, a live little element and it makes it feel like you produce this your own little track and your own thing even though ai produced probably 80 percent of it so this is all really, really fun. And I think I'm probably going to do this for some more different uh, songs and different things for my videos. But this is like, this was a lot of fun. So if you guys are interested in more content like this when it comes to recording bass or, you know, how, how do you record bass or just production stuff like this, please let me know in the comments below. So if any of you guys are interested in Sound Raw, the AI music generator I use today, feel free to check out the link in my description below. Now, if you have any experience using an AI music generator, feel free to drop a comment of how you use it in the comment section below. 
Now, if you want to support this channel, you can support it by clicking on any of the affiliate links in the description below and making a purchase through those links so this channel could get a kickback to bring you more videos. Also, you can check out my website, travisdykesmusic.com, where you can find merch and different items like that that will help support this channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.